Hello, I'm the Budget Modder and this is episode 21 of my King Tiger and Bergpanzer diorama build. If you're watching this then please subscribe to my channel, give the video a like, leave a comment and ring my bell. That would be brilliant. Thank you. To begin this episode we're going to be doing some PE work. We're putting the grills on the rear air intake covers so without further ado let's crank up the speedy uppy thing and crack on. And one down, three to go. We're using a rat's tail on our super glue tube here, which allows us to be very precise with a very small amount of super glue. This means we can protect the fine grill work from overloading it with super glue. Anyway, let's crack on with the other three. We're introducing Loctite 60 second glue here. This takes a lot longer to set as the name gives away and it allows us to move the part if we misalign it initially. So let's crack on and do that. smart people among you may have noticed I got my numbers wrong. There are only two air intake grills, but each one has six parts of PE on them. So, now to move on to making some more of the rear hatches. Let's get them sorted. That part of the rear deck's done, now to do the housing that bit goes into. Okay, there we go, that part's done. Now, to move on to doing some small parts that go in the underside of the top hole near the vision ports.
Right, they're done. We'll leave those to dry and move on to sticking some ammo pouches onto that central support beam in the tank. So let's crack on with those. As you can see, the back of these ammo pouches are going to need a clean up with some khaki paint, but we'll let those dry before we do that. In the meantime, let's carry on with some small hooks that go on the engine housing cover on the rear plate. There we go, that's done, so let's leave that to dry. Now we can move on to the drivers and radio man's hatches. The way I'm going to portray this diorama, the King Tiger will come apart so you can actually see inside the tank. So these extrusion marks you're going to be able to see them so we're going to have to fill them with my sprue glue we'll have to do two layers as these are quite deep so let's crack on and get the first layer in There we go, first layer done. When I do this, I always leave it overnight to set. That way I know it's going to be nice and hard and ready to file. Now, onto this bloody engine bay. This really is being the bane of this dio. So, let's try and get this sorted. What we did there was we've put a cocktail stick down the left hand side of the engine to straighten it up. Then we painted that black to hide it. If it's stupid, but it works, it ain't stupid. Anyway, moving away from stupid, let's move on to cleaning up the inside of the upper hull of those extrusion marks.
time again for the sprue glue. That's those going to dry overnight. Now, back to the parts we did earlier, which have dried overnight, and give them a quick clean up to see how they look, see if they do need a second layer. Yep, they're going to need a second layer, so let's crack on and get that layer down. Right, let's put those to one side to dry, overnight as usual. So, whilst they're drying, we can crack on with doing some more of the ammo pouches. That's them prepped and ready for priming. This seems like as good a place as any to end. So thank you for watching episode 21. If you want to see what happens in episode 22, please subscribe to my channel, help it grow, like the video, leave a comment and ring my bell. Remember folks, stay safe, keep on modeling.